Hey, what's going on YouTube? I got a really cool video for you guys today. I got a cool package in from uh, someone I follow on Instagram. And he goes by the name of Decapa Turtle. And basically, he does these knuckle slash pocket tool deals that you see in front of you. And I hooked up with him. Uh, he's just been all over Instagram. And I just had to actually see what was going on. And he did something where he would... He was willing to trade, so I traded a couple things and some cash, and I was able to get one of each model. I think there's only one that I don't have. And uh, basically, uh, he's got a website, uh, www.gunfighter.com. Gun is spelt with two N's. His Instagram name, like I said, is Decapa Turtle. Uh, Twitter is Gunfighter, and he has a Facebook page. So these are what I have in front of me here. Uh, the names, I think this is called the Flying Squirrel. This is called the Sabbath. This may be the turtle. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, and I'm not 100% sure on this name. Uh, he's got a bunch of different different styles and whatever. He anodizes the crap out of these. I mean, they come in all kinds of different colors. Uh, these three right here, these three models here are offered in aluminum. And I, they may be offered in stainless steel also. I know this one that I got is stainless steel. These are aluminum. So really cool stuff. And just, just had to show it to you because it's one of those kind of obscure things you come across. And, uh, and I definitely, I mean... His anodizing, the bright colors, and these designs are kind of different than everybody else. So I definitely wanted to check them out, and I've got them in today to show you. So anyway, let's go ahead. Um, flying squirrel, pretty much self-explanatory, how you hold it. Middle finger there, other fingers there. Um, and it's just really, you know, it's a, uh, a self-defense tool. Um, with a bottle opener on each side here, so it's pretty cool. On the very tip, there's a kind of like a combo bevel. Flat grind here, flat grind here, two different points. Also at an angle you could scrape uh, with this also. Very light, it being aluminum. And uh, this is called his Flying Squirrel. Although, if you guys have kids like I do, or you will check out Nickelodeon, if you remember the cartoon they had a while ago, I think they still got it going on called the, um, the Avatar, or the Last of the Airbender, or whatever. Uh, the Fire Nation, this reminds me of the Fire Nation symbol. So... Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, as far as that, it's just really menacing looking uh, and just would hate to be on the receiving end of this. But pretty cool, lightweight, good stuff. Uh, you got this guy right here, finger right there, good grip, perfect. Really cool. Um, bunch of different, I mean, different ways to hold it. This also has a hex cut out here. And it's the universal hex cutout that fits all these guys that you guys come across in every one of your little toolkits. So this, this along with your little toolkit, uh, have these together in a bug out bag with some stuff there or something in your car. These two in your glove box. You know, whatever. Uh, sky's the limit. Bottle opener. Same bevel as the aluminum one right there. And uh, this one's got some kind of blotchy red anodizing which looks cool. I mean, I like it. This, uh, this guy here, I think it's called the Turtle. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this is probably one of the best feeling uh, little knuckle duster deals out of, it, out of the whole thing. Um, so it's pretty comfortable and just real menacing with that same sharpened point there. Your dual bottle opener here. And um, with these holes in these, and if you have uh, paracord or lashing, I mean, you could do all kinds of other stuff. I mean, I've just received these, I think it was... Uh, I received these today, actually, now that I think about it, and I haven't really messed with them too much to see what else I could do with them to kind of be creative. So I'm sure with these holes in that, I'm come up with all kinds of cool stuff. And the last, and probably I think my favorite one, uh, is the Sabbath, and just basically because um, you could hold it here like a like a tool. These will cut. I mean, these ends are pointy enough where you'll cut open a box, uh, scrape or whatever. But this guy right here lends itself definitely to hold in this like a saber grip position there as far as knucks go uh, right there flipper around like so even better bottle opener uh, all kinds of cool stuff I, and this one's a stainless steel one I think as far as uh, these two seem to fit the best or I've, I'm favoring these two more than the other ones although this with the hex opening here is really cool uh, because of that capability and this one's pretty cool too because as far as I'm thinking about uh, crazy lashing and stuff like that that you could do with this to in a camp kit or something like that I mean like I said I haven't played with them too much yet I just want to show you guys so 
Uh, that's pretty much it. Really cool stuff. These guys, um, right, I mean, he's willing to trade for some of this stuff, which is really cool. It's really reasonable. So you, there's many ways you can get your hands on one of these. Um, they're inexpensive. $20 right now for these guys here. Uh, stainless steel and aluminum and soon to come titanium. Uh, his aluminum anodizing, he got, he's, I mean, he's anodized them almost every which way you could possibly do it. Uh, he does acid etching on that, skulls, all kinds of really cool stuff. He's really creative with this. And when he starts to get the titanium stuff in, we'll see. Um, it's just only going to get better. So definitely check him out. I'll put all the information in the description. Thanks for checking this video out. He's a really cool guy. I definitely want to do this video to let you guys know what he's all about and what he has for you. And uh, definitely at least take a look at his Instagram because he does quote post quite a bit. And he has a lot of uh, giveaways too. So if you're lucky and you follow his channel or his uh, Instagram, you may end up with one and not have to pay a thing for it. They're really cool. So... Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all the support. I will try to remember to get that info in this description. That way you guys can check him out, get up to speed with his gear. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Peace.